Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today we are going to discuss hijama for acne and uh, I am Mohammed Bilal uh, I have done PhD in hijama and uh, I am sharing my experiences in the treatment of various disorders over the last decade and uh, we have um, uh, treated almost uh, more than 35,000 patients alhamdulillah within this period of time and um, uh, multiple sessions of all of the patients uh, have been conducted and we have seen great benefits of hijama in the treatment of almost all of the conditions uh, but today we are going to discuss the specific uh, problem of acne as we are covering in this series the dermal disorders so today we are going to discuss the hijama for acne so first of all the signs and symptoms of acne are uh, great if it, if it is grade 1 then minor pimples without inflammation if it is grade 2 then widespread white heads blackheads, papules and pustules. If it is grade 3 then widespread inflamed pustules and papules with nodular acne and in grade 4 the white heads or black heads inflamed pustules and nodular and cystic acne. So these are the uh, common symptoms of acne and then the signs of acne are the test proving abnormally high androgen levels and the time and duration of symptoms coincide with certain uh, symptoms. So, this is um, like uh, the symptoms are um, apparently visible in the form of pimples and sometimes some tests are also uh, performed in order to evaluate whether the acne is uh, hormonal in origin or not. So, a high androgen level also causes acne. There are uh, some specific causes of acne like genetics. So, genes play a huge part in acne trouble. If, um, if, if any of the parents uh, has, ac has acne, then it is a possibility that the offspring or the son or the daughter will also suffer from this condition. Sometimes uh, there are some bacteria which are present everywhere around us, on us, inside us. So, these bacteria are sometimes uh, are also one of the important causes. So, P. acnes is the uh, bacteria which is responsible for the development of acne. And in the case of hormones, we have already discussed. So, uh, whenever there is any change in the hormonal level, for example, uh, at the stage of puberty or uh, in the during the uh, pregnancy, uh, during the menses, so all of these um, uh, times all of uh, these condition they are accompanied by acne and uh, these hormones are also playing a vital role in um, in causing the acne then lack of sleep is also one of the reasons which um, which is uh, behind acne and it also causes the development of pimples cosmetic use is also uh, a very important cause because sometimes it it uh, possesses it contains allergens which are uh, harmful for the skin and sometimes they aggravate acne and there are a lot of uh, type of foods uh, oily foods especially like the fried items they are also responsible for the development of acne so these are the most common uh, six causes of acne uh, we have dis discussed right now and now we will uh, discuss the hijama points for acne so, the points are 1 and 55 which is located at the C7 at the shoulder level on back, upper back. Uh, these are the Sunnah points of hijama. They are also termed as Al-Kahil in Arabic and these are the treatment for the, uh, they, they are for, for the, for 72 diseases as, as mentioned in the uh, Hadith. But uh, we know that 72, the number 72 is used in Arabic as a, as a word for uh, um, uh, to mention abundance, uh, it is actually uh, to mention abundance uh, like uh, to have 72 diseases does not mean that exactly is, uh, it will cure 72 diseases, but it means that uh, most of the diseases will be cured by uh, doing hijama on this point. So, this is the uh, reason behind it, the logic behind it that it is mentioned in ahadith. And now um, the points. The other points like the uh, bilateral points on the shoulder blades or um, the scapula, these points are 48 which is 48 right and 48 left 
and then below the 155 there is a point in the center almost at the uh, thoracic uh, fifth or sixth vertebrae uh, and this is uh, this is number 49 and then uh, you are seeing the points on uh, on the eye, on either side of the neck on the sternocleidomastoid muscle uh, on either side of the neck these points are also sunnah points means that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself got hijama on these two points and uh, uh, 43 and 44 are the numbers of these points and uh, they are termed as aqdain in arabic and these are also very important points for the treatment of acne now on the front uh, there are some points like uh, 122 on liver 133 on uh, on the uh, xiphoid process which is the meeting point of liver stomach and lungs and heart uh, pancreas gallbladder so this is a very important point so 133 and then above that is 120 which is a very important point for immunity related problems so uh, these are the points on the front and sometimes because some patients are suffering from androgen abnormality so for that purpose 125 and 126 are also covered in order to stabilize the hormonal imbalance so these are the points on the front which are covered for acne